It's over. Anti-American NFL just hit with their most devastating news of the season that will end the league. The first eight weeks of football season have left many Americans wondering what it would take for the National Football League to get the message that America isn't happy with them. Despite the highly successful boycott of the league, due to many of its players kneeling for the national anthem, the league who has a history of nitpicking their players' every action, still, won't stand up to the social justice warriors. Thus far, the damage has been doled at by the former fans of the sport, and the league has stood its ground and crossed its fingers that viewership would come back. The latest blow being dealt to the league isn't one that's going to be easy to recover from. You see, there was always a chance that if the NFL and the networks that carry their games pound us with this disrespect for long enough that a portion of the fans would just give up the fight and go back to passive submission. First off. They seem to have underestimated how personally America has taken the disrespect toward our anthem and those who died to protect it. Secondly, they didn't expect some of their allies to turn their backs in favor of keeping a positive checking account balance. The latest betrayal of the social justice warriors comes from an unlikely source. According to the Conservative Tribune, ESPN is making sure they're under no obligation to continue airing the underperforming football games in upcoming years. ESPN's contract that is connected to their coverage of Monday Night Football is about to expire, and experts think that they might not keep it in their lineup of programming. If they move forward without the Monday staple, it would be the first time in three decades that they didn't broadcast NFL games. With so much of ESPN's universe asunder, it's not outlandish now to entertain a previously unthinkable prospect. Might ESPN elect to go without rights to NFL games after the expiration of its eight-year deal for Monday Night Football in 2021? Asked James Andrew Miller in The Reporter. The first eight weeks of football season have left many Americans wondering what it would take for the National Football League to get the message that America isn't happy with them. Despite the highly successful boycott of the league, due to many of its players kneeling for the national anthem. The league who has a history of nitpicking their players' every action, still, won't stand up to the social justice warriors. Thus far, the damage has been doled at by the former fans of the sport, and the league has stood its ground and crossed its fingers that viewership would come back. The latest blow being dealt to the league isn't one that's going to be easy to recover from. You see, there was always a chance that if the NFL and the networks that carry their games pound us with this disrespect for long enough that a portion of the fans would just give up the fight and go back to passive submission. First off, they seem to have underestimated how personally America has taken the disrespect toward our anthem and those who died to protect it. Secondly, they didn't expect some of their allies to turn their backs in favor of keeping a positive checking account balance. The latest betrayal of the social justice warriors comes from an unlikely source. According to the Conservative Tribune, ESPN is making sure they're under no obligation to continue airing the underperforming football games in upcoming years. ESPN's contract that is connected to their coverage of Monday Night Football is about to expire, and experts think that they might not keep it in their lineup of programming. If they move forward without the Monday staple, it would be the first time in three decades that they didn't broadcast NFL games. With so much of ESPN's universe asunder, it's not outlandish now to entertain a previously unthinkable prospect, might ESPN elect to go without rights to NFL games after the expiration of its eight-year deal for Monday Night Football in 2021? Asked James Andrew Miller in The Reporter. The journalist pointed out a few factors that make this decision plausible. For one, ESPN has quietly and carefully changed its contracts with cable companies in a way that sets the stage for an NFL pullout. There is no longer specific contract language that requires the cable giant to have NFL games in order to earn its lofty, and industry envied, subscriber fees, currently more than $7 per household, The Hollywood Reporter explained. In other words, the sports network seems to be actively preparing for a situation where it won't be broadcasting full games. If nothing up to this point was a good wake-up call for the NFL, this should do it. Most of us probably take for granted that networks like ESPN will always show the football games, but apparently, 
the dent in their bottom line has been so severe that they're making plans to cut their losses. The NFL boycott has most certainly been one of the main contributing factors to the decrease in viewership, so the company is considering new options other than actually broadcasting entire games. The new plan is to just play some clips and chat about it, and the NFL is in such a state that they're expected to accept. Additionally, ESPN may be able to license highlight clips for commentary and replay without having to shell out for full games. Can't anyone imagine the NFL turning down an offer from ESPN of $300 or $400 million for just those rights, even if ESPN didn't have game rights? It's doubtful, Miller admitted. You might be wondering what exactly pushed the sports network leader over the edge to change their format in such a huge way. The answer is simple, a mass exodus. ESPN is a subscription-based service that depends on people going out of their way to want to watch their programming. But lately, people have been going out of their way not to watch their programming. In fact, according to Liberty Unyielding, they're losing subscribers to the tune of 1,500 a day and they're ready to stop it. Effectively ESPN is tossing up a trial balloon letting Wall Street know they probably can't afford to keep Monday Night Football rights past 2021 when its current deal expires, but they're trying to make it seem as if this is their decision and it's a good thing for the company. And they're simultaneously letting Wall Street know that their business won't completely collapse without the NFL either because, how convenient. Their executives are geniuses who negotiated language that protected them in case they couldn't afford the NFL. Another way to put this would be as follows, ESPN's business is collapsing so rapidly that they are now trying to figure out which would be more destructive, losing billions on the NFL or losing billions in cable and satellite revenue because they don't have the NFL. Some may hate to say I told you so but I, unfortunately, am not one of those people. It's about time those in broadcasting started to have a little respect for the values of middle-class Americans. They might think that the social justice warriors are the ones that need to be appeased, but this protest has proved that they're not the ones that hold the purse strings, we are, and we are the ones that they need to be listening to. Listening to.